Okay. Other followers and new followers since this is my first video. I am going to be making a hardcore map. And this video is mainly for newbies. I'll just put it as test. World type default, generate structures on. So you just fill in dungeons, which are beneficial to the game. We can get you stuff. World type default, oh, we'll talk about it later. Just started a new world. I feel like we're in the plains finally. This is like just in the real life. They have like that. Uh, when you punch grass, very rarely, but sometimes you do, you get seeds. You put them, you farm with seeds. And that's how you make a crop. And that's how you get, uh, food. Food is only for, uh, basic hunger. As you see in, like, the bottom of the screen, there's, uh, those hearts. That's their health. And right next to the, them, these chicken leg things, that's your hunger. As you travel or swim or something, those, or any actions, those bars will go down. Mainly it's just time that you put into the game. We're going to keep on going through the wilderness here. And there's two things that decide, this, that decide where you live. The first thing is if you like the area. And the second thing Depends if you're almost die dying by hunger. Oh, and the third thing. Depends if it's close by water or not. So we're just going to walk around a little bit here. Hopefully find something. sky, or if I turn my render distance up, which is like how far you can see, there's supposed to be like a sun, and at night the moon comes out, just like it would in the real world, and it turns everything dark, and monsters spawn in darkness. Monsters, or the other term known as mobs, come in the night and are hostile, and they damage your hearts, as shown on the bottom of the screen. Now in hardcore, you only have one life, so these hearts are very special. Just still trying to find a place to live. Ah, now here's a nice place. A few nice swamp trees. They provide good wood. Good. 
is required are all handles on tools that you must use in order to make tools. Also, for building supplies, they're classic. You can make anything out of them, essentially. Except for still based iron. Almost all the crafting recipes need wood. Except for baking items and very few uh, very few stuff like enchanting or brewing stands. Very few items do not have wood. Here's what I mean by items. So I got some wood. I'm going to show you a few simple crafting recipes. And put that over there. And you put two planks right on top of each other. Or, in fact, oak wood. And you put, like, oak wood in the box, 54. When you put two wooden planks on top of each other, it gives you sticks. So first you want to make yourself some simple sticks and stuff. And here's one of the things that you first need to get into comp more complicated recipes. A simple crafting table. Now, I'm going to go into night with this video. Since we need all we can to survive, I'm going to make a wooden house. Even though it's not dark yet, better safe than sorry. Make a regular old small house. Nothing fancy. In fact, not fancy at all. No windows. By the way, mobs, also uh, hostile creatures, I guess would be the other term for any noob who's watching this. Is uh, also going to come out at night. They can they can see through windows, but they cannot hurt you through windows. No mobs can break any blocks except for creepers, and they can only break blocks if they see you with no barrier, like window. So windows are a good idea if you want to see the outside and not get. as wolves, they're uh, okay, not hostile at all, but when you punch them, they will uh, turn on you super fast. Same with pigmen and endermen. The only difference between like pigmen and wolves, or the only difference between pigmen and endermen, or that when there's like a group of endermen and you punch one, that one attacks you. But when there's a group of pigmen and you punch one, all of them attack you. Pigmen are kind of like gangs that are not very hostile. They won't harm you unless you harm them.